welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to day 24 of Vlogmas. I cannot believe it is Christmas Eve today. I feel so unprepared, but I've got presents to wrap today. I've got food to prepare for tomorrow so we can go fishing Christmas morning. And we've got a turkey to brine. So let's go ahead and get Christmas Eve started. So the very first thing I'm working on this morning is creating a turkey brine. For Christmas tomorrow, we're gonna be baking a turkey and I am going to brine it for about 24 hours before it goes in the oven because that'll just make it taste so much better. So my mom bought this turkey brine and then I'm gonna spice it up a little bit with a little brown sugar, a little bit of kosher salt and some Worcestershire sauce and a couple of onions, some lemons, some oranges, and I'm gonna create this brine, let it cool, and then we will throw the turkey in the cooler and let it sit for 24 hours. All right, I'm adding this turkey brine to my gallon of boiling water, and we're gonna let that all dissolve. I am really excited because I just walked outside and I had a package from Good Ranchers sitting on my front porch. So let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. Also, it is currently probably 50 degrees here in this laundry room because, let me see, let me move out of the way. Right there is the doggy door. And the wind is blowing so hard that it's blowing the dog door open and all that cold air is being pushed into here. Oh look, there's the puppies. But, let's see what's inside the box. Oh, here we go. Oh, second box. I'm hoping that this meat is still good because the ice, the dry ice that they pack inside these boxes, it is gone. So let's keep our fingers crossed the meat's still good. Oh yeah, the meat's still frozen. Ooh, look at this. Beef fillets. Um, yeah, count me in. Look at these, they look so good. Oh. Love that, love that. We got some boneless chicken breast fillets. Yum, perfect. Porterhouse steaks and some lemon pepper chicken breasts. Yay, super exciting. Now we can put them in our freezer. Woo! Since Cody came in here to check out the meat, he is now going to help me so we can grab all these and throw them in our freezer. Buying this freezer is like my best investment of 2020. I think it cost me 300 something bucks, but now I have ample space for frozen food, which is great. Here, look, look at how much space is in here. So I have so much space in this freezer. There's still so much space left in here. So great purchase. I just came over here to my parents' house to steal one of their coolers to brine the turkey in because I realized our cooler smells like fish. So, coming to get a clean cooler. Got the goods. I just thought I'd document. This is the first time I have ever, like, got a turkey out of the bag. And I'm freaking out because I couldn't find the neck and the giblets. I found the gravy packet, but I still don't know where the giblets are in this thing. And I just keep searching inside this bird and I don't like it. <laughs> we will find the giblets at some point. But we're trying to get this turkey in the brine for it to soak. But I can't. Fine, the giblets. <laughs> we're gonna be brining this turkey in here for the next day. So we're gonna pour our brining mixture in here that I made this morning, it's cooled off. So we're just going to pour it on top of the turkey. 
We have it in a big old Ziploc bag. Get all that goodness in there. We're gonna add some more water, throw in an onion, some citrus, and it's just gonna sit here and bathe in our brine for a while. We're gonna load it up with ice in here, and that's gonna be my turkey brine. Now adding some extra water in here, because this is a 21 pound turkey, so we need to totally submerge it in water and the brine. Into the brining turkey, I'm adding two lemons I cut in half, an onion I cut into quarters, and some fresh rosemary and sage. Going to add that in there. Now we're gonna seal her up, and she'll be ready to cook tomorrow. I'm excited. This is the first time I've ever like touched a turkey before. My dad always does it. So this is the first time we've done a brine, so I'm kind of excited about it. I decided that I should probably go ahead and get my Christmas gifts wrapped because uh, I like to procrastinate and it's Christmas Eve and I have not done that yet. So let's get to wrapping some gifts. Wrapping is pretty much done. Only one to go. Yay! Okay, so I had to sneak outside to tell you what I'm doing. So, Cody's last gift hasn't come in the mail yet. I bought him a fishing reel, but it's gonna be after Christmas before it gets here. So I'm just gonna wrap up a picture of this fishing reel. But there's a trend going on right now where you wrap a present as something completely different than what it is. So I think I'm gonna attempt to make his present look like something else. This could be very challenging because I am not artsy, but we're gonna give it a try. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So hear me out. I tried really hard. This is the best my artistic abilities could do. Vroom vroom. Here we have Cody trying to ruin Christmas by shaking all of his presents. Oh, trying, they are. trying to figure out what they are. And he messed up my skateboard that I'm giving him. Mm-hmm. The wheels broke. Told me not to touch it, and I did it anyway. Yeah, exactly. Mm hmm. Well, Merry Christmas, y'all! It is now December 25th, and I decided that this is going to be a Christmas Eve and Christmas Day vlog. So this morning we woke up, we opened presents with my parents, went over there, and then we tried to go fishing, but the water was too low. So we unfortunately didn't get to have a Christmas morning fishing trip. But what we're gonna do instead is we just came back home, I changed, and we're about to head over to my parents' house and start working on Christmas lunch slash dinner. So I'm gonna grab everything I need from here and we're gonna head on over to their house. Good morning, everybody. Merry Christmas from the uh, Salom household this morning. Catherine asked me what I was doing. So all wrapped up in this aluminum foil is a ham ready to go in the oven. And I am making cornbread dressing right now. So I got my Cajun Trinity cooking. I got a neck bone from the turkey boiling. So I have some broth for the dressing. Just took sausage balls out of the oven. I love those. My husband was asking for them this morning. I got the cornbread I made yesterday, though it did have a big piece cut out of it because it was good and I wanted to eat some. So I'm getting ready to um, put the cornbread dressing on. We have a turkey in the oven and then I might clean up the mess behind me before we eat Christmas dinner later on today, but I wanted to take a moment and tell everybody Merry Christmas. Cooper is on trash cleanup duty. He's got to make sure that there is no trash left unchewed. 
So this is what happens when you drink uh, Cure Royales is what I'm having, which is champagne and Chambord mixed together. <laughs> and you make baked potatoes. Because mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Drunk. I have absolutely <laughs> no idea what the heck I just made. But cook is hammered. I Who's think, got a straw? I'll need it for this. I, we're going to use a straw for these, for these mashed potatoes, or I think I'm going to have to turn it into soup. It's going to be the perfect, the perfect... Um, you know what? This is a starter for potato soup. There you go. We're is. gonna just have some baked potato soup later. Baked this potato week. soup later. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that we weren't done. What the hell uh, happened to the potatoes? No, I thought I was hungry. All right, y'all. So it is Christmas dinner time, and we made enough food for about thirty people when there's only four of us eating. But we've got we made some turkey. 40 Three pounds of food. Forty-three pounds. It went from fifty to forty-three. I'm not sure what it is anymore. I thought it was about sixty. It's a, it's a new math. We've got a spiral sliced ham. That's that red champagne math right there. Some cornbread dressing. Some mac and cheese. Green bean casserole. Broccoli casserole. Asparagus casserole. Look, got I found the giblet. Are you really? lying? You found the giblets finally? No. Is that a giblet? No, it's no. just a piece of meat. Oh, I love that piece of meat. <laughs> Show them the mashed potatoes, cat. Show oh, them the mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes, we know that hold was Hold on, y'all. Hold on. We know the mashed potatoes were a win. On. Oh, yeah. Hello? And we got rolls in the oven. We've got enough Actually, food for an army. That's for darn sure. For us four. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this ornament that my aunt and uncle gave us. It says, Our First Pandemic 2020. What a way to commemorate this year. <laughs> Too funny. I know I'm getting older because I love the fact that my parents got me Tupperware for Christmas. I have been needing Tupperware so bad because what I use just does not work very well and my mom has had the same Tupperware pieces for like 20 years my entire life and they're still holding on strong so my mom got me some Tupperware containers for Christmas and I'm so excited this is what I grew up with are these containers and they are my favorite and then over here I got a couple more got all the different sizes that I could need. I got this square one down below. Ooh, I can't wait to start using my Tupperware. Right, Cooper? Yeah, we love our Tupperware. I also got one of these food choppers that you can like slice an onion or an egg with. So pumped about this. I've been talking about needing one and my mom picked me one up. Yay! Well, y'all, with that, that wraps up Vlogmas 2020. This month has definitely been a roller coaster of emotions, and the past couple of days, I have just not been feeling very well. So instead of going the whole 31 days of December, I have decided to stop Vlogmas after Christmas and get a few days of some much needed rest for myself. It has been a crazy, crazy whirlwind of a month, but I had so much fun doing Vlogmas, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Vlogmas video as well as all of the others this month. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so, and I will see y'all real soon with another video. Bye, guys!